Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Astralis Matchmaker Lightning Shade Adjusting Drops. If you're pale like me, then I'm sure you've had trouble trying to find a foundation to match your skin tone. So these shade adjusting drops are such a great idea to drop into any of your favorite foundations and get the right match. Before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I post two videos a week and a lot of them are related to having pale skin. Alright, let's put this baby to the test. Just some quick information on the product first. If you live in Australia, you can buy this from Priceline and it retails for $19.95 and you get 18 mils in the bottle. If you live internationally, you still can buy this, but you need to get it from the Australis website. So I will link that down below for you. So the range comes with a lightening option and a darkening option. And on the website, it claims to transform a nearly right foundation into Mr. Right to create your perfect foundation match. So not too many claims, just nice and simple. The foundation I'm going to be trying this out with today is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And this is in the shade 51 Light Vanilla. So if I hold this foundation up against my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, you can see that they do both have that yellow neutral undertone, but the Bourjois foundation is much, much darker. So to mix this, I'm going to put some pumps on the back of my hand and then add in some of the drops and see how many it takes until I get what I think will be the right shade. So just having a look in the bottle, I can see that it does have a slight pink undertone to it. So it's not stark white. I have a neutral to cool undertone as do majority of pale people, we're more on the cooler side. So I don't think that that will be a problem for someone like me. So if I open it up, you can see that it has a dropper applicator. It can get quite messy. If you can just see around the lid there, there is a ton of product. So that is a little bit annoying, but what can you do? So I've got the foundation on the back of my hand here and I'm just going to start off with two drops. Come on. Any minute now. It does have quite a thick consistency to it, which I don't mind. So that is the foundation with the two drops in it. I'm just going to mix it around and see how that goes. I definitely need some more, so I'll go in and put another two drops. It is still looking a little bit dark to me. I'm just going to put the Maybelline foundation next to it, just so I can compare the colors. Okay, so this is just really messy, but you can see up here that is the Maybelline foundation, and this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation with four drops of the whitening product. I've still got a fair way to go. Okay, so with another two pumps, that is looking much better. So I've already primed my face with the Maybelline Superstay Makeup Extending Primer. I do have a little bit of redness, so I'm just going to quickly use some green concealer and correct that. Now to apply the foundation, I'm just going to use the same brush that I used to mix it all together. And then I'm going to use my Sigma F80 to buff it in. Looks like a pretty good match. I've just gone and mixed up a, another little batch to put on a second layer of foundation. I'm really, really happy with how the color has turned out. The Bourjois foundation has a neutral undertone, so adding the lightning drops has really just made it the perfect color for me. Like, I know it looks super pale, but when I lift my neck up like that, it matches. <laughs> okay, so far, so good. 
I am loving that it just made the shade lighter. It didn't really change the consistency or the undertone of the foundation. So I'm going to go and apply the rest of my makeup and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I've done my makeup and this is the finished look. Please excuse if I get any lipstick on my teeth. This one keeps going everywhere. I do have a little concern though, and I'm not sure if it's just the foundation or if it's because of the adjusting drops, but it is sitting a little bit patchy just on this side of my face. So around my cheek here and just here. I've obviously never used this foundation before because it's too dark, so I can't comment on whether it's the foundation or the adjusting drops at this point in time, but I will definitely keep trying the adjusting drops with other foundations, and then I should be able to get a clear answer on whether it's the foundation or the drops that is making it go patchy on my face. I have a feeling it's the foundation because I did use these drops the other day with another foundation, just one drop just to quickly mix in to see how it went, and I didn't have the patchy problem, so mm. I'll definitely keep testing it out though and keep you updated on my Instagram stories. But besides the patchiness, everything applied beautifully over the top, no problems in that area. I know there are a few other lighting drops on the market, brands like The Body Shop, Manic Panic and even BYS has some. Now I haven't tried any of these other brands, so if you have, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of them. Overall, I think that the Australis Lightening Drops are such a great option for anyone wanting to lighten their foundation, but especially for us pale people who cannot find a foundation to match, these are a great, great option. I think that with a lighter foundation, I obviously won't need as many drops, but they are super easy to use, they blend in really well, and I am really, really happy with them. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you have any other questions, just drop them down below. You can come follow me on my other socials. I've got Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So they will be linked in the description box. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to do more reviews. Otherwise, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.